Commissioner Steve Glassman, thank you, Steve, for being here this morning. Also, our city manager and our deputy city manager, Chris Lagerbloom and Rob Hernandez, thank you all for being here. Also present are Brooke Little, the chief operations at AMR, as well as Lieutenant Colonel Adam Curry and Captain Alex Rep of the uh, Florida National Guard. Gentlemen, thank you all for attending the, today's uh, opening event. Uh, special thanks to uh, our fire chief, uh, Rhoda May Kerr, and our police chief, Rick Maglioni. Again, thank you all for being here. Uh, why is this so important? Why are we here this morning? Uh, we have several major announcements to make regarding our progress in the fight against the COVID-19 virus in our community. We are greatly expanding testing capacity. We are also beginning to reopen some amenities for people who, to enjoy while still maintaining the necessary hygiene and social distancing requirements. According to the latest data from the Department of Health, the greater Fort Lauderdale area has witnessed a significant improvement in the key medical criteria set by the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC. There has been predominantly downward trajectory in new infections for 17 days in Broward County. Actually, the last two days have had the lowest number of new positive results in more than a month. As a percentage of total tests, we're also in an improved position. Positive test results account for less than 11% of the total testing here. But in Miami-Dade, as comparison, it's more than 14%, and nationwide, it's 17%. What is particularly notable is where we stand compared to the place most impacted by the virus, New York City, where it's 30%. In addition, the one major hotspot that we had in our city, the zip code 33311, has also been dissipating in the number of cases. These are true indicators of a trend of success. I want to thank our residents. I really want to thank our residents, our business people, and those who continue to conduct themselves in our, in our city for adhering to the stay-at-home orders and the other emergency restrictions that have been in place. It is because of your adherence to these important regulations that we are stemming the spread of COVID-19. And I know back in the middle of March, everyone was shaken by the fact that we closed our beaches, we ended spring break. People were saying, what the heck is the mayor doing? Well, here we have the results. Success is at our doorstep. The community responded admirably as the unpredictable and unprecedented situation unfolded involving this deadly and contagious virus. We are now entering the first phase of reopening the city. This will be a slow and cautious process as we work to allow businesses and amenities to return while continuing to protect the health and safety of residents. We are going to have to deal with a new normal as the virus will remain present and dangerous until a vaccine is found. And we all know that will take time. One of the most important steps that we must take to ensure our, our health and safety is to continue to expand testing and that's what brings us here today. I'm pleased to announce the opening of the first testing site within our city. This centrally located site will allow us to better serve our residents in conjunction with the recently opened facility at the Urban League just outside the city boundaries. Most of the other testing sites are located far out in the Broward's western suburbs. This new testing will provide the critical help for business to reopen and allow us to gauge the infection rate in our community and whether or not it remains low or whether we need to readjust our plans because of a rebound in the virus's presence. The drive-through facility, and it will only be a drive-through facility, will be able to conduct 400 swab tests a day. It will be open Tuesday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and by appointment only. Anyone over the age of 18 will be able to be tested whether or not they're exhibiting COVID-19 symptoms. No doctor referral is necessary. Now, how do I get an appointment? You do so by simply calling 1-800-209-7919. That's 1-800-209-7919. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Upon arrival, in, uh, individuals should use the Federal Highway entrance, that's the, that's the western entrance, and provide proper identification that has name, date of birth, and photo. There will be a separate entrance for first responders who need to be tested. 
First responders may take appointments and would use the Sunrise Boulevard entrance, which is the north entrance to the park. Tests will be administered by healthcare professionals from the American Medical Response Company. And the and a team will follow up with the individuals and provide results, most likely within 48 hours. I really want to thank the governor, Governor DeSantis, and his emergency management director, Jared Moskowitz, and his chief of staff, Shane Strum. They were instrumental in helping us set up the site and overcoming numerous hurdles that occurred along the way today. Governor DeSantis has been of great assistance overall to our city during this crisis. I also want to thank the Florida National Guard. Folks, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for your service. As well as the Department of Health, AMR, the city manager and his executive team for working hard to bring this testing site to fruition. I'd also like to thank Vice Mayor Glassman for helping uh, in reassuring the surrounding Victoria Park neighborhood about the site setup. Thank you, Vice Mayor. The work that begins here tomorrow will help Fort Lauderdale residents get our lives back to a level of normalcy as quickly and as reasonably possible. Late last night, I signed an emergency order that took the first steps in reopening our community. Under the new order, we allow parks, boat ramps, marinas, golf courses, and community pools to reopen on a restricted basis beginning this morning. Parks have reopened for passive use only so people can get out and enjoy more places to walk and exercise. Individual groups of more than 10 people are prohibited and social distancing of six feet is required. Tennis courts, racquetball courts, and pickleball, ball, pickleball courts are open for singles play only. Remember, not all park amenities are reopening as we seek a balance with public health. Playgrounds, indoor facilities, exercise equipment, dog parks, campgrounds, and pools remain closed. Those are public pools. Multi-use fields and basketball courts are also closed as are bathrooms and water fountains. Again, to reassure the public that we are trying to maintain safety within our community. Boat ramps and marinas are allowed to open from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. with some restrictions. On the waterways, boats must remain at 50 feet apart at all times. Rafting up, tying up, beaching, anchoring, and landing of boats is prohibited, and the sandbar will remain closed. Kayak and canoe launches can stay open, and water taxis can restart, again, provided that social distancing requirements are respected. So Fort Lauderdale is the Venice of America, and we are again trying to allow our residents to enjoy our waterways again as long as it is done in a safe manner. Before the original emergency orders went into effect, we were very concerned about scenes of mass partying on the water, particularly at the sandbar. Actions like that can help uh, the virus spread easily. And we are determined not to see a repeat of what was occurring. While golf has a limited presence in our city, we are allowing one private course to reopen and have reopened the public three-hole three course at Oswald Park. There are restrictions on play, however. Finally, we are allowing community associations to reopen their pools as long as they take certain measures to protect public health. We heard from many association leaders that these pools are a vital part of exercise, even physical therapy, for their residents. It was important to provide them the opportunity to re return to these activities safely. So these are the first steps. In the coming days, the City Commission and I will look at reopening more of our community. A working group that was created of business executives, medical professionals, and neighborhood leaders provided us with a great roadmap to follow going forward. They drafted a long list of ideas of how we can reopen the beach, restaurants, gyms, hair salons, and many other facets of daily life with reasonable health safeguards. I thank them all for their work and hope to phase the recommendations. We will attempt to act in coordination with our surrounding communities because a unified approach will ensure the least amount of confusion and provide the highest degree of consistency and stability. I look forward to the weeks ahead as we revive our economy and revive, revive the health and mental as well as physical in our community. Fort Lauderdale is a great place to live, work, and play. And we will emerge from this pandemic as unbowed and resilient with the spirit of community that has long made us strong. So as we do so, remain vigilant and continue to take the necessary precautions to protect your health and that of your family and loved ones. 
Colonel Curry, Captain Rep, would you like to make a few comments about the GARS activation here? Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate it. On, on behalf of the Governor, the Adjutant General of Florida, my battalion, 2nd Battalion, 124th Infantry, proud to be here and proud to serve the, the great citizens of the state of Florida and Fort Lauderdale area. Uh, we couldn't do it without the cooperation, the relationship of uh, agencies represented here, so thank you. Appreciate all your help. Florida National Guard continues to stand ready in support of both the local, uh, county, and state leadership as needed. Appreciate it. Thank you again, Mayor. Great. Thank you so much. So behind us, you see the tents, and the operation will begin tomorrow. We are extremely satisfied because, as we've heard from the president, from the governor, from everyone who's involved in, in this effort, testing, testing, testing is, is the key to trying to curb the spread of this disease. So we thank everybody who has appeared here today.